back to another video. On today's video, it's gonna be very interesting. So I went to a few stores throughout the last like week or so, some with Rachel, some without Rachel, to just go like Funko hunting and go look at Legos and you know, my usual hunts to see what I can find, do some like fun unboxings for you guys, but I didn't I didn't find a lot. Like I really was surprised by what I found and me just refining multiple of the same things in stores. So it's kind of disappointing, but I did walk away with one pop at least that I'm really excited to add to the collection. I'm gonna unbox with you all. So yeah, let's just go on this adventure with us to multiple stores. We're gonna hit GameStop, uh, Forbidden Planet. We're gonna go to the American Dream Mall to go to some stores there, Hot Topic, Box Lunch, Lego, and also go to Target to see because they have the Target Con display up as well. So let's go. First stop is GameStop. They had a lot of the same pops I've seen for a while now there, but they had some new Ghostbuster ones, some new Marvel ones, some kind of new Disney ones that they've had for a while but just restocked on. There wasn't really anything that caught my eye specifically, but definitely good for any Yu-Gi-Oh fans. They had a couple of them, a couple of different ones as well, not just the two I'm showing you. So I would suggest going into GameStop if you're looking for that collection or any Disney princesses as well. They had the Peggy Carter, which is the first time I saw her. I haven't seen her yet until now. And they had the Zero that I was considering, but I don't want to start the train, so I'm not going to do it. But otherwise, they had some really good big sets as well, but it was something I was looking for specifically today. Up around the corner, it's Forbidden Planet. They had a Wally that I was dying for. They had some new 50th anniversary ones, which I thought was really cool to see finally in person because I've seen them online for so long. I was really tempted to get Captain Hook, but I did pass today. They had some other good Disney ones I had my eye on and some Marvel ones, but sadly nothing enough to catch my eye to want to buy it to leave the store with. But if you're looking for anything cool Marvel-wise, they have a lot of selections. Expensive pops in cases, and I was really surprised to see Aaron from Attack on Titans. So even though I'm going back shopping today to go more Funko hunting and go to the box lunch and see the hauls, I want to shop my fit because usually I wear like only Disney t-shirts and you guys see that all the time. So today I'm actually wearing like regular people clothes, but of course I have the lounge fly to sport it with because you know I gotta have a lounge fly with me. And I'm really excited to finally bring this baby out in person, so ready to go shopping. So this is the Discovery Center that we always mention in our videos. Um, it's in the American Dream Mall. It has the little store next to the Discovery Center. So let's go in. Here's an overall look at some of the sets they have. We were really surprised by how stacked they were this time around. Usually they're not that stacked. Uh, they had some good Jurassic Park ones, which is funny because we were just talking about Jurassic Park in our last video. And this one had uh, Owen in it, which I thought was cool. They had the Chippendale Brickhead, which I was kind of wanting because of the new movie. Fun fact, I've been wanting Rachel to get this uh, tree house for her tree house, but she says no. Also, we were surprised to see a lot of the castles again, and we have a debate going in the house whether or not to buy the big castle. You guys let us know. So next we headed to Hot Topic, which I saw a lot of cool exclusives that they had out. I considered getting another bell, but I passed on it today because I already have a lot of bell collection. And then we headed to the Amazon store, which I haven't been in yet, and sadly they're closing, but they had a lot of cool Amazon exclusive pops, including this Captain America with Shawarma, and I found Cora, which is so cool, I haven't seen her. They had a really cool Peggy, so a lot of Peggy today in this whole search. And it was kind of sad that they're closing the store soon, because I had a lot of good options, but I did walk away with just Cora. After that, we headed to Box Lunch, which if you haven't been to Box Lunch, it's a really awesome store that I know they don't have many locations of, and I have my eye on this cardigan, but I did pass today, sadly. But they have a lot of great Disney stuff to really make you feel like you're in the magic you can when you need it. And of course, they have a great Funko collection as well. So I had to head over there to see what they had. They had a lot of great like Hawkeye and a lot of box lunch exclusives. They've been really stacked on that lately. So if you're looking for any exclusive, I definitely recommend going to a store if you can. But yeah, I didn't walk away with anything this time, but it was nice to see everything. And if you're a Witcher fan, there's a lot of Witcher pops there. Lastly, we headed to Target and they had this great display for Target Con, which I was very surprised because our Target is usually not stacked whatsoever. 
And they had all of their Target exclusives out. They had the Diagon Alley set, which was really cool to see if you are looking for that set. They're pretty stacked with it. The only one I considered getting was this Mandalorian because I don't really have him yet, but I think I want a different Mandalorian in mind. Honestly, it was cool to see everything out, but there was nothing I really wanted, so we headed to Lego. Again, we were surprised that this Target was also stacked with all the Legos because usually they don't have a good selection. So it was nice to see they had some plates on sale too. It was really cool to see, but we didn't really find anything we wanted right away, but nice options. I do think this is cool now after I saw the movie. I was looking at it um, when I was editing our video. I had to go to the website. And I got the sets. Yeah, those are, uh, yeah, this was kind of scary. Because of the eyes, but it is cool. Oh, wow, they have this here. That's insane. The older version. I would have got this if we didn't get uh, the droids. Got your cube that you want. I don't want that cube. Oh, look, they got oh, they the ship. The Jurassic. The Roger Mario ship, thing. yeah. <gasps> What's Jurassic? Cardinal Taurus Dinosaur Chase. It has Owen in it. See, I wish like they just do su like I feel like they should do Super Mario just way better. You know, it just looks so empty. It looks nice though. And we're back! <laughs> so after that many, many hauls, I only walked away with one Funko Pop, which is the one I'm actually the most excited for because as you all know, I have my Avatar collection that is almost finished. And I know, I know, I should finish the collection first before getting the new one. But I just, I saw it and I couldn't pass it up. And this was my first time in the Amazon store in that mall, which is so sad because they're closing it. But at least I walked away with the pop that I'm really excited to open with you guys. And I can start her collection. So on the back, those are the four pops as well. I have to look up to see if there's more because I really haven't looked into Korra enough, which is bad because I'm such a big Avatar fan. But there's Asami, Mako, and Aman. So we'll see. I definitely want to get everyone. I don't know if they'll all fit in here because this is a pretty stacked Avatar collection. So I'm going to have to do a separate display somewhere nearby to have it flow into each other, which is nice because I have the other shelf that is like the ET Jurassic. So I could always take them out and give them their own display and then make it a more Avatar and Korra. So that way it's just like the Marvel and just like Disney. It's just like one continuous line to display. So we'll see. Anyway, let's go ahead and open her. Okay, here she is. She's very big because she has all of the bending going on around her, which I don't even have Aang doing that yet. So it's kind of cool that she's my first avatar that has all of it. Um, so I have, she has the fire, she has the water, she's air bending and, you know, earth bending out at once, all four elements. And I love the detail in her costume and what she's wearing and everything around her she's just a really detailed pop and i think it's gorgeous and it's like a statement piece it's like when you walk in you just look at cora right away you know so i'm really excited to add her to the collection so yeah sadly this is all i found after that many many hunts i was interested in a lot but i didn't end up going with it because a lot of the stuff was just like well i could get it because it's nice but do i need it not really and is it going to fit with what i have no so i'm going to just keep looking for the things i'm looking for which is you know finishing avatar uh, finishing Disney and their villains, finishing uh, Alice in Wonderland, finishing Haunted Mansion, finishing Lilo Stitch, kind of um, finishing Jurassic. Jurassic is really important to me right now, especially with the new movie coming out. I'm keeping a very close eye on everything coming out. And there is a new one that just released for Claire that I think I'm going to get. And I have to order it soon because I keep forgetting, but I'm going to get it for sure. And yeah, and then finishing my Avengers... Um, end game set. So I have a lot of sets that I have going on, so I really need to just focus on that. But you know me, I still love to go to the stores and see what comes out, and I don't want to miss anything, you know? Thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun doing this for you guys. 
Let us know what else you want to see, any other stores that you suggest going to the city. You can let us know down in the comments. If you like Lego content and Funko content and launch site content and more, go ahead and like, subscribe, ring that bell. We love doing videos for you guys weekly. And we have so much and so much and so much to talk about and so much more to collect. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!